The B-54 Mod 1 or Mod 2 bomb is a timer-controlled nuclear weapon used as a special atomic demolition munition. It is designed for deployment in a variety of locations, and emplacement can be underground, on the surface, or underwater. An incident or accident requiring explosive ordnance disposal of the B-54 bomb may occur not only at an emplacement site, but also in storage, or while in transit. To protect the munition en route to the emplacement site, it may be strapped or fastened to the carrying craft. It may be enclosed in a cloth bag with foam cushioning to protect during hand carriage. The bomb may be enclosed in special containers or equipment required for parachutist delivery or underground and underwater emplacement. The special equipment may be found with the bomb in storage, shipment, or deployment. For parachutist delivery over land, the bomb, in the cloth bag, is installed in a parachutist container. The shipping and storage configuration is completed by installing the parachutist container, bomb included, in this container. If the bomb is to be emplaced under 25 to 100 feet of earth, or 50 to 200 feet of water, the bomb is protected by an underwater pressure resistant case. The underwater pressure case, the bomb installed, is shipped and stored in this drum type container. A harness assembly is available, which can be installed on the underwater pressure case for parachutist delivery into water. The B-54 bomb is 18 inches long, 12 inches in diameter, and weighs approximately 58 pounds. It is produced in two different yields. External parts of the bomb consist of a front case section, rear case section, and a lock secured cover. Removal of the lock secured cover permits access to the fusing and firing components. The timer is settable in five-minute increments over a range of five minutes to 12 hours on a Mod 1 bomb or 24 hours on a Mod 2. The time setting in hours and minutes appears in readout windows. The timer is started by turning the arm safe control to arm. This disengages the time setting knob. The timer may be stopped by depressing the arm safe control or by turning the safing screw. The firing components consist of an electric detonator, a thorough electric transducer, and a plane wave explosive generator. The plane wave explosive generator contains a shaped explosive charge which must be installed in the arm well if the bomb is to be capable of operating. It is normally stored in the safe well. The bomb is armed by setting the desired time delay inserting the plane wave explosive generator in the arm well and turning the arm safe control to the arm position.